here with Sparkle and Sprinkle and I have some exciting news for this week's stamp release. We have four wonderful rubber stamp sets and we have one digital stamp set. So like always when we first launch our stamp sets, that first week you receive 20% off. So starting right now, 20% off on all the new ones. Here is the exciting news for you guys. Sparkle and Sprinkle is also offering 20% off all sparkle and sprinkle rubber stamp sets all of them so go ahead and load up your cart and you're going to want to use the code stamping 20 all one word to take advantage of that 20 percent off you have a week to do it so get started find that link in the uh link a area and click it and go right to the website and take advantage of that discount we are also offering this week 20 percent off the platform and the sleeve and the additional magnets. So those are fun accessories to add to your shopping cart as well. Okay, to get started, we have amazing submissions from all of our wonderful designers. It was so hard to narrow it down, but I am gonna show you. Our first stamp set is Fish Whisperer. Isn't he just adorable? Just love it and love the creativity from all of the amazing designers that they have shown with their cards. So this is a Bugaboo stamp design, really cute. So it comes in rubber as well as digital form. And I'm gonna show you that example, which I always love to do, on uh, how you can tell if it's digital. So see the size difference? So with the digital stamp, you can really play around with the size, which is phenomenal. So I absolutely love this one. And look at the homemade camo background paper. So cool, that technique is awesome. So to check out all the details on our cards, go to our Sparkle and Sprinkle blog hop, which is happening right now. Make sure to enter our contest. One winner is chosen from our blog hop comments, and they receive all of the stamp sets from this month's release. So you wanna comment, comment, comment. That's the important thing you need to remember too from this release video is you need to go to our designers' blogs comment and that enters you into the contest. Okay, so really awesome. Absolutely love what she did here. Super fun. The next one, check that out. You know, I would probably make a ton more of these if I actually did them with digital stamps because instead of all that time stamping and coloring, she, so smart, used the digital stamps, was able to play around with the sizes, get it just right, and then do all the fun adding of the glitter afterwards. Here is this guy here, and I hope you guys can see, because my favorite part about this card is she used the shave ice inside of the clear crystal drop. So can you see how it actually looks fish scaly on his little fish? Really cute technique. So to get all of the ins and outs of these cards, remember you want to take advantage of all that information being available to you on our designer's blog hop. Love the addition of the flocking on the clouds, the crystal drops for the rain, and the flocking on the wheat here. Isn't that just phenomenal? So cute. I wanna go hang out with this fisherman. He seems like a fun guy. Okay, so that is stamp set number one. Stamp set two and three kinda of go together. So it is Farm Fresh, and this is the tractor set number one. So you've got this great colorful red tractor and this awesome little silhouette tractor. So I am going to start here, and this is 877, the stamp set. Here is one of our cards, and I just absolutely love the creativity here on cutting out it looks like a postcard and then cutting out the actual stamp image here and squeezing it into that square, but it's like coming alive. It's really cool, very incredible. Love the whole idea here and using the clear embossing powder over a digital stamp takes, you know, makes it fun again and as if like you didn't use a digi stamp. Love all of the incorporating elements here 
the really fun like sponge painting here with the uh, grass very realistic love the watering cans which are from the other stamp set which I'll be showing you this one has a really fun flare using the glue pen that looks like the medium glue pen with the microfine glitter elements to it really makes that pop And this is just such a fun <laughs> incorporation of using the glimmer paste through a stencil. So you could see that in the background here. This is the glimmer paste through the stencil. And I love like the complete two ends of the spectrum, the tractor with the awesome glittery background. So, woo, love it, love it. Looks so nice. Okay, here is Farm Fresh Cows. And this is stamp set number two from this collection. So you can see how the two sets go really well together. And I love how these are completely different from what we normally are showcasing for you guys in terms of our stamp set. So something a little bit more masculine this month, which I really enjoy. And to start off this stamp set with the cards, we have this one here. So this is a combination of that stamp set one using that tractor silhouette with the cow silhouette. I really love the simplicity here, yet the detailing with the embossing powder with the glitter in it, as well as the shimmer from the crystal drops and that background, whoops, as I throw it on myself. Really love the color palette. Nicely done. Next, this one is really cool because you can see how easy it is when you're using the digital stamps to just layer it and then you don't have to do uh, the masking or anything when you're layering a bunch of stamps so that takes a lot of the work out. Love the usage of the microfine glitter and the little glitter elements on the boots and on the eggs oh, and the background so you look at she created her own background paper using the digital stamps and then printing out that cow silhouette on a colored cardstock. Really awesome. All the details you will find on our designer's blogs. All right, here we go with a really fun one too. And I love this glittery border on the bottom here with this really cool embossing folder and then that cow silhouette on top. Just so many great elements happening together on this card. And then we have this here, which is that cow silhouette. So this is digital as well. So she layered that stamp to make that background paper and then did a full clear embossing and then stamped it to it. You can see that home is where the herd is. Makes total sense. So check that out. And then last for this collection, I love this because it's a little throwback to stamp sets in the past. So we've got this one here from this stamp set as well as the stamp saying. And then uh, right beside you set, 812 for the tree. And then the wetlands number two set, 791 for the birds. So really nice to incorporate existing stamp sets when you're when you're using your new ones nice job okay and last but not least for our rubber stamps for this month we have the beautiful lovely as a leaf set and this looks familiar because we used it for this month's video kit club i had a lot of fun designing this month's card so here it is so if you like that we have the kit available to you all the supplies you need to create this beautiful card to create five of them so make sure you check that out if you want to become a kit member you can inquire about that as well here is another card by one of our lovely designers can you see the um the beautiful gilding flakes used with a uh, small pen with this small glue pen that we have really beautiful i love the coloring i love the clear embossing over the autumn it's just done, it's very subtle and elegant. Next we have Nature's Elegance here using that mirrored cardstock run through a embossing folder. And it's nice and clean and just has that little extra touch. 
the glitter twine right here. I know it's a fan favorite of yours. Here's some more beautiful gilding flakes and then an incorporation of the microfine glitter and the ultrafine. So you could see right here, you can see how beautiful and sparkly that ultrafine glitter is and the microfine glitter is a smaller cut. So it still has that sparkle, but it is not as dramatic as the ultrafine glitter. So people do ask a lot of what's the difference between the two. And I love everything going on in this card. The beautiful large bow, you've got that leaf, the crystal drops, just gorgeous. And you've got the glitter drops, the regular crystal drops, and the pearl drops. The embossing powder, the gilding flakes, awesome. So that concludes all of our rubber stamps. We have a really beautiful, fun, and I absolutely love everything to do with nurses. So this is a digital stamp set that we're offering this month. It's called Nurse Navy Corpse, and it is Digi 3139J. So obviously you, can, you get a lot more of images with this digital stamp set, but this is just what uh, you get, but they come colored, not colored. You can manipulate the sizes, and here is that stamp. Here's our card sample from that. So thank you so much for submitting this beautiful card sample. So remember, you have homework. Your homework is get yourself enrolled in the contest by going and commenting on our blog hop, which is happening right now, showing all the detail of these beautiful cards that I just showed you, and then 20% off of all of Sparkle and Sprinkle stamp sets. And you need to type in Stamping 20. So find the link that'll take you to our website. You'll be able to hop on the blog hop there. You'll be able to take advantage of that awesome 20% off of all Sparkle and Sprinkle rubber stamp sets. And then don't forget stamp platform and all the fun accessories, the additional magnets and the sleeve and the, <sighs> sorry, the, uh, code for that is, get your pens ready, tonic20. So type tonic20 in if you're picking up the stamp platform that you've been holding out for. And thank you guys so much. Comment below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Have a fantastic rest of your week.